I've had an extra day off. What happened was that my mum left uh, late yesterday and then I was all ready to start back on the programme today and I kind of woke up and it's this feeling of I'm on my own. You know, I'm on my own. I can I can do what I want. But I can do what I want any time. And I often do, but it's like a lie, a food lie that I tell myself. I'm on my own. Mm, mm, what can I eat? What can I eat? No one's around. And uh, combined with that, um, I had to fast um, to go to the doctor today because I'm getting a, a series of blood tests. So I had to fast from yesterday uh, after my meal right through till 10 o'clock. So I got very hungry. Plus I'm on my own. And you can see I was still yawning. Plus I had a load of work to do. And I let all these excuses all get on top of me. And I didn't do any exercise. I was on my computer all day. And it's only just now, like 10 o'clock at night, that I'm actually uh, realising that I, I don't want to be, be going down this road on the computer, yawning, making excuses. And anyway, so after I did my fast um, and came out of the doctors after my blood test, I was really hungry. And I'm getting better at managing these cravings, but they're still there. Um, albeit much more mild since I adopted this new way of eating. If it had been carbohydrates, I would have come. I wouldn't even be on this diet. I would have done what I've been doing every day for the last 12 years or so. So the diet is effective and it is working, but there are some things where I have to take more responsibility. For instance, when I came out of the doctor's surgery, I went straight for a uh, fried breakfast, an English fried breakfast, but nothing like what I used to have. What I used to have was... Um, with all toast, tons of toast and tons of hash browns. But I don't have that anymore. If I am going to go and eat that kind of meal, I get uh, a bacon, sausage, tomatoes, mushrooms and a tea. And that satisfies it. So if you're one of those people that go for those breakfasts and you're finding it difficult to get off them, then just, just get rid of the, the, the stuff that's crunchy and you'll do a lot better. So I had that for breakfast and after that, I really wanted some uh, of those shortbread biscuits that I've been going for um, before I started this diet. And I did it once when I was on this diet, I believe, on this way of life, this lifestyle. And today I really wanted it. So what I did instead was I went to the health food shop and I found the smallest packet of biscuits that I could find um, that were gluten-free and had um, sugar replacements, not aspartamine, but the alcohol sugar replaced, but replaced with like xylitol. Excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, that was weird. Um, so I'm doing my best here. You have to bear with me. Um, so yeah, so basically I didn't eat those. Uh, I ate that biscuits, but I didn't get the big packet. It's only 450 calories. So I had my breakfast, which was probably 500. I had the uh, big carbohydrate intake from the biscuits, even though it's only 450 calories, it's probably 60 grams of carbohydrates. Um, and then for dinner, I, I, I stopped having any more bingy food. And then for dinner, I had a uh, Greek salad, because that always hits the spot. The point of this video, basically, is I'm getting excuses in my head, they're rising strongly. I've got the I'm on my own buzz going on, right? And anybody who knows about food addictions understands that one. I've got the I'm really, really tired and I want to eat what I want. Plus I fasted yesterday to go to the doctors. Now those things normally would have seen me having pizzas and McDonald's after I tasted the first cooker cookie, I would have got another pack of cookies and I would have got the full Monty like double pint of milk to go with it. And I'd probably still be eating now and I definitely wouldn't be making a video. So for me, the amount of progress that I've created in the last uh, 13 days in terms of my mental attitude and my um, dietary freedom is, is astronomical gastronomical <laughs> it's astronomical 
really is that I'm sitting here now. I haven't eaten that much today. There was there was six biscuits, seven biscuits in this pack, and the whole packet weighed uh, 130 grams. Normally, I would get two 250 gram boxes and a double pint of milk, and that would just start. And I finished the day with a salad. So it is working, it is a success. And even though this video may not be so motivating to people who do not understand this process, to anybody who understands what it's like to deal with a food addiction will understand that this feels like a success. It feels like a great success. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go downstairs and as I've told you before, I'm gonna tidy my kitchen. My office is pretty much always tidy, you know, because it, up in my office I've just learned over the years to look after that or I can't work um, the food area I've been always eating out or just getting throwaway takeaways so me learning to, to look after a kitchen to some people seem retarded for me it's like a skill I don't have and I'm getting it so I mostly got to the point now where it's generally clean I do a bit each day but when I have these days off, this days off you know this I don't want to do this anymore what I can sense is the doorway is opening to ruin the program. And you have to know your signs and you have to act on your signs before they become, before the signs act on you. So you act on your signs before the signs act on you. What I mean by that is that if I don't act right now, tonight, before tomorrow starts and get my kitchen, no matter how tired I am, get my kitchen cleaned up, get it organized. So when I go down in the morning, I'm back on my lifestyle. I'm back in my new lifestyle. There's a very, hot, very, very, very strong chance that I'll wake up and I'll be like, "Ah, no, I can't be able to do any of this," and I'll go and and extend this binge process. So I'm going to build on my successes from today, and I'm going to finish today better than it started. And it started with fasting and and going to the fried cafe place and getting the biscuits, and it's ended with a salad and me sorting out my place, because I want to wake up tomorrow on the program again, day 14. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do, which I, I'm not talking about right now because this video's getting a bit long, but um, I'm going to revise the program because it, what's currently happening is, it, is the record system isn't working properly. So all these evolutions that I'm doing, you have in your hand now the evolved system. So what you're seeing me do is my evolution to that system and I'm not there yet I can feel it so with that um, let's rock and roll is that a good enough ending let's rock and roll <laughs> this is real huh? this is properly real right I'm not holding anything back I'm not holding anything back